Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to another GWS Giants My Coach Career video. Uh, today's video, we're taking on the Carlton Football Club. Before we get into it, I just want to let you guys know that a AFL My Career video will be dropping tomorrow, so make sure to go for that. The, uh, the series will be returning. I just needed a little break from it. I'm um, after playing uh, a lot of My Career games. So I just thought I'd show you guys the ladder as we head into round 12. The Giants are currently sitting 12th. The Blues are 13th, so the winner of this is a massive chance to get into the top eight. Uh, we've won five, we've lost six, the Blues also. I just I wanted to go through the stats and just give you guys a rundown. We're injury free at the minute, so there's no injuries. Um, these are the people leading the league. Sam Lloyd leads the league in disposals. That is just crazy. Peter Wright second. I just don't understand that. Uh, let's go have a look at the Coleman and all that good stuff. Uh, you can actually have a look at some of the bounces in the league, which I really like this season, but let's have a look at the goals. Uh, so Lockie Whitfield leads the league in bounces, which is really, really cool. Uh, and if we go over to scoring, uh, Jeremy Cameron actually leads the league in goal kicking. But let's get into team selection for round 12. It is the Giants and the Blues. We're going in unchanged today. Uh, we didn't have to make any changes from last week's game against the Crows where we got the job done. So we win this, and there is a genuine chance we could actually move into the top eight. Uh, Heath Shaw, Phil Davis, Nick Haynes, Zach Williams, Sam Taylor, Adam Kennedy, uh, Kelly, Cornelio, Whitfield, Hopper, Himmelberg, Daniels, Finlayson, Cameron Green, Jacobs, who's basically security spot after he was dropped during the year. Callum Ward, Tim Taranto, Perryman, Green, DeBoer, and Codwell. So let's get into it. It is the Giants and the Blues from Marvel. We win this game. There's a chance we could be in the eight by the end of the round. Uh, we've, we've, we've kind of struggled um, in Melbourne, so let's hope we can get off to a fast start and we can, uh, we can bring home the four points and head back to Sydney. Tonight's game between Carlton and GWS Giants. Fairly low crowd in here today. Joined now by Gary Lyon. I had an absolute pleasure to join you. Tonight's match between the Blues and GWS Giants. We've reached the halfway point of the season and the competition is really kicking into gear. Players are heading into their mid-season buy at this point of the year. Let's see who is going to earn their rest and who might spend it doing some extra work. Coming into this game with some poor form. All... So here we go, the Giants and the Blues. Uh, this is going to be a good... I thought this was going to be a really good matchup considering just how close these, these two teams are on the ladder. Patrick Cripps is going to be a big, big... Uh, task if we can win this game. We have to stop him. As you see here, Toby Green running in for the first shot on goal, and he misses and hits it. Kicks on the full. That was a very poor uh, shot. The Blues end up coming down. Like I said, if we're going to win this game, we need to stop Patrick Cripps as he runs in and kicks the first goal. Uh, the Blues actually got the jump on us early on in this game. You see Jack Silvani running to another goal. He gets the, blue, uh, the Blues second, and things are looking ominous. But here, I, I mean, after this goal, we steadied the ship. You see Daniels running to an open goal. He lines up, he just gets the right bounce, it just goes through, just, I thought it was going to hit the post, but it goes through for a goal. The Giants are on the board, one straight six to the Blues, two straight 12. Lockie Whitfield uh, was playing really well, you see here Callum Ward line up for goal, he misses the right hand side, it trickles out. Uh, but you see a nice tap down from Himmelberg, and uh, this is my first goal with the clearance kick. Now I've, I've tried the clearance kick major many, many times, you see Tim Taranto kick the goal. Uh, that was actually red, so I actually can't believe that went through for a goal. I'll have a look at this beautiful rove uh, from the Giants. But the Blues actually do go inside 50, some nice ball movement. Jack Silvani again popping up for the Blues. 
He lines up and he kicks his second goal of the game. The Blues get a one goal lead. Three straight 18, plays two straight 12 as they go. we go inside 50. And on the lead, Jeremy Cameron, who was really good in this game. Uh, I mean, when the Blues got the jump, it was good to see how he responded because we actually do have a really big second and third quarter. So here come the Giants yet again. Tim Taranto, lovely handball at the top from Himmelberg. Taranto is going to run on and Taranto is going to kick his second goal of the game, second goal of the quarter. The Giants have the lead after the Blues kick the first two. Uh, we have responded well. I mean, we're not done there. You see here, lining up for goal again. Finlayson lines up. Lovely little kick inside. It almost gets spoiled, but it doesn't matter because Whitfield, he runs in, and Whitfield slams it home for another one for the Giants. We get a two-goal lead. Uh, I, I generally believe we're a much better team than the Blues. I mean, we've been playing not up to our standard this season, but we're heading to quarter time with a 13-point lead. And I honestly believe this is the game that will hold us in good stead. Uh, for the rest of the season. So, Taranto, five disposals and two goals. He was really good. Whitfield, one goal. Cornelio's had four disposals, and Harry Himmelberg's had the three as we get into the second term here. And like I said, these quarters is what's going to set up our season. Lovely kick inside. Daniels takes a mark and unselfishly goes over the top to Jeremy Cameron. He takes the mark, and Cameron will go back. He slots goal number two. The Giants are well and truly away, and this starts the avalanche. Now, I have said in previous videos... Oh, we've been playing some good footy, but this is this is probably the best I've ever played on AFL Evolution. Matt DeBoer takes a nice mark. He was really good as well. He lines up. He kicks the goal for the Giants, and we are just racing away in this game. We are not stopping there. Himmelberg has to chip it over the top. He finds Jeremy Cameron. Now, Cameron can play on here. No one is man the mark. He's going to run in, and Cameron is going to kick goal number three. The Giants are blowing this game right open here. A 49 plays 18. The Blues just had no answers. Now, I think my biggest win on this game would have to be around 75. I think it might have been 77 points in the Essendon series. It's another goal here. Hopper kicks another, and the Giants' avalanche continues. This has the potential of blowing out to, an 100, to basically a 100-point win. I mean, I have not beat a team by 100 points on this game yet, and uh, this honestly has potential. Now, I have no idea why Phil Davis is in the forward line. Have a look at this. Poor play from the, uh, from the Blues. They just can't clear it. And Phil Davis, the backman, runs in and kicks a goal. When Phil Davis is kicking goals, you know something is wrong. Something is happening. Uh, 64 plays 18. Lovely mark to Finlayson there. He goes back. He slots another for the Giants. And this is blowing out. Now, I did not expect this. We haven't had any games this season where we've blown out teams. I mean, the Adelaide Crows game, they'll never really in the game. As we as the halftime siren sounds, as Cali has a shot after the siren. But we are absolutely blowing out this Carlton Football Club team as the siren goes and we head into halftime. A 53-point lead to the Giants, 11-5-71 to the Blues, three straight 18. Tim Taranto, Finlayson, Matt DeBoer being really good. Jeremy Cameron's kicked three. Taranto's kicked two. And have a look at that. Phil Davis has kicked one. The Blues didn't even score in that term. They didn't. They couldn't even get it forward. I mean, we just absolutely dominated. And we are not stopping there. As we get into the third term of this match, the Giants have exploded. I mean, maybe this is the game that propels us and gives us that chance to make the top, to, to basically finish in the top four. Because I don't think I think if you finish in the top four, you're a genuine chance to win the flag. Finlayson runs in, slams home another. This is just goals galore for the Giants. Uh, but like I said, potential 100-point win. You see a snap-on goal here for Mitch McGovern, who was very, very quiet in this game. He misses. This is the first score for the Blues in over a quarter. Sam Jacobs gets the tap down and pushed in the back. Everything's going our way. Hopper, who was really good. Now, is Hopper a left footer? Mate, I want you guys to comment down below. Is Hopper a left footer? I'm not too sure if he is. Um, I'd love for you guys to let me know if he actually is a left footer, but I've got no idea. Callum Ward running along the wing. Lovely hit up. And have a look at this. Beautiful Matt DeBoer leading out of the square. Matt DeBoer had a day out. I mean, he, I think he kicked four points in this game. He had a chance to really uh, go big. But 95 plays 19. Callum Ward, lovely handball over the top. Hopper for another one, if you don't mind. And the Giants are well and truly on their way to 100 point. I thought it was going to be a 100 point win. I mean, the Blues just had no answers. The third quarter here, they're still struggling, and we are just applying all sorts of pressure. But you see a lovely goal here. I mean, finally, Zach Fisher bobs up and kicks a goal for the Blues. 25 plays 102, and they do get a little bit of a run on here. You see Silvani line up and just squeeze this one through. He kicks his third goal of the game, but uh, absolute domination from the Giants in this one. Hopper unselfishly gives it over to Cameron, and he rams home another for the Giants. This, is, this, this will be the biggest score we've probably put on um, as a team, as a football club. I think the highest I've ever put on is like 140. I think it was Essendon against Adelaide in Season 1. As Codwell has a shot on the siren, he misses. But what a quarter. What a game from the Giants. This is a statement game. 
Uh, the same amount of wins as the Blues. 5-131 to 17-7, 109. Cameron, 11 disposals and 4 goals. He is having an absolute day out. Hopper's playing really well as well. Matt DeBoer, really good. Finlayson, good. Callum Ward, really good as well. Let's get into this last term here. You see the Giants still putting a lot of pressure. Toby Green was pretty quiet considering we blew this Carlton team out. He was extremely quiet. Uh, but like I said, there will be a My Career uh, video dropping tomorrow. So make sure to look out for that in AFL My Career. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. Make sure to hit that like button. Get on, get on board. Subscribe. Um, I've got a lot of good content coming out. So make sure to get on, get on board. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. It's Finlayson Rams at home. An 80-point game. Now, it was... I mean, I thought there was a chance it could be 100 points, but that was uh, shadowed as the Blues just steady, and they kicked a few goals. But the ball was up, just unreal in this game. I mean, he was really, really good. 44 plays, 128, as you see. Heath Shaw running, lovely chip over the top to Hopper, and we are just running full of confidence. To Toby Green can top pop this over the top to Jeremy Cameron. He takes the mark. Now, Cameron can line up for goal number five. He's leading the Coleman at the minute. He kicks goal number five. It is a 90-point lead. For the Giants, as uh, Kerno lines up from a long way out, it doesn't get, it doesn't actually go as the siren sounds. So this is the biggest win I've ever had. What a game from the Giants coming down to Marvel! Absolutely huge, knocking off Carlton and giving us a massive chance to get back into the eight and push for that top four spot. So 7-2-44 to the Giants, a massive 21 goals, eight. 134. What a game! 90 point winners. Finlayson 12 disposals. Cameron 12 disposals. Cameron kicked five goals. He was definitely best of field as we go and have a look at the uh, disposals and everything, all that good stuff. Cameron, 12. Finlayson, 12. Finlayson and Cameron, 24 disposals and nine goals between them. Huge games from them too. Uh, you see tackles as well. I think uh, Callum Ward had 10 tackles, you guys will see here. But uh, let's get into J21 votes as we, we close out this fantasy. Just guys, we want to pause and have a look. Uh, I've been reading everyone's comments on who should come into the team, and I'm loving them, so keep commenting. Cameron gets the five. Hopper gets four for his game up forward. Taranto was awesome early on. Matt DeBoer, really good. Finlayson. All our forwards basically got votes. Cameron was just a standout in this game, but I really did feel like Finlayson deserved the vote as well, and I thought Taranto deserved it. So this is the leaderboard. Toby Green, Callum Ward, Taranto, Cali. Really heating up. Toby Green has a big, big lead. Let's see if they can reel it in. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and look out for some more content. And I'll see you guys in the next AFL Evolution 2 video.